This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I am Lucy Adeyemi. World Health Organization chief has warned on Tuesday raging conflicts is hampering efforts to rein in an Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He urges a ceasefire to stop the virus from transmitting free. Their toll hit 41 in the outbreak that was declared 15 days ago in the North Kivu of the country. DR Congo's health ministry says the virus has spread into Ituri province, although vaccination campaign in the neighboring province continues. WHO called for the rapid rollout of an unlicensed drug being used for the first time to treat Ebola patients. Tedros Hadhanom told reporters in Geneva he feared conditions on the ground in the eastern province had created a conducive environment for the transmission of Ebola. He said he had been very worried before his trip to the centers of the outbreak. He became more worried after the visit. The latest outbreak now counts 57 probable and confirmed cases of Ebola virus. Burundi President Pere Nkuruziza has issued a decree banning the use of plastic bags in the small Central African country within the next 18 months. Nkuruziza signed a presidential order on Monday prohibiting the manufacture, import, storage, sale and use of plastic bags and other plastic packaging in the country. He gave 18 months grace period to allow for the disposal of current stocks and others already placed. When the law comes into force, Burundi will join a growing list of African countries that have introduced total plastic bag bans to fight pollution, including Morocco, Rwanda, and Kenya. We'll be back after this short break. gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. Six major opposition parties registered candidates in Democratic Republic of Congo are discussing putting forward a joint candidate for December's long-delayed presidential election. Opposition leaders say in a statement this, they have so, they've taken a decision that would come in September after the Constitutional Court publishes a list of approved candidates. The opposition is up against President Joseph Kabila's chosen candidate, former Interior Minister Emmanuel Ram. Ramazani Shadari. The joint statement also calls for the participation of Katumbi in the election. Katumbi said the RC's government blocked him from returning to the country to register as a candidate. That's the NN News Brief. Thanks for joining us. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Good morning.